1 to 4. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, and each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Holy is the Lamb that was slain on the cross. Holy is the Lamb. Holy is the You are the creator of all things. You dwell 
in the clouds of your womb. There is none that can be compared unto you in the heavens, none that can be compared unto you among the sons of men. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you. Holy are you. Holy are you. We come again tonight declaring your holiness, saying it, Lord, testifying of your holiness. For you are holy, Lord. 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 We, you are holy, Lord. We worship you, oh Lord, in the beauty of your holiness. At the womb of the one, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Lord. Holy Lord. Holy Lord. Holy Lord. Holy Lord. We acknowledge your holiness. We acknowledge your holiness. We lift you high, O oh Lord. We lift you high, O oh Lord, for you reign upon your throne forever and ever. Holiness, holiness are you, O oh Lord. You are holy, Lord. We worship you and we adore you. In Jesus' name we have worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to read from Revelation chapter 4. You know, I, I want, and even though we are here collectively tonight, and uh, we are sharing of this corporate anointing, I want us to be focused on the Lord by yourself. Look at the face of God. See the throne of God. And Isaiah said, he saw the Lord high and lifted. See him in the eye of your spirit. Communicate directly with him. Tell him of his holiness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to read from Revelation chapter 4 from verse 1. The Bible says, And after this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit. And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and the one that sat on the throne, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thundering and voices and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne which are the seven spirits of God and behold the throne there was and, and before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf and the third beast had a face as a man and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him and they were full of eyes within and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when these beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty-four elders fell down before him that sat on the throne and worshipped him that lived forever and ever, cast their crowns before the throne, saying, 
Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Hallelujah. We see the dynamic of the throne room. At least if we have not seen it before, we have read two accounts written by two different people at different space of time. And we can see the similarity between these two. We see the same cherub with the six wings as the same one that was seen in the book of Isaiah. And the same thing that Isaiah had is what John is hearing. Our God is holy. Amen. Our God is holy. Amen. Our God is holy. Amen. And it is a beautiful thing that God is calling us unto holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a high call. Yes, when we look at this scripture, God said unto John, come up here. Come up here. God is calling us. God is calling you. God is calling me. That is why we are here today. Praise the Lord. So our gathering together here today is not about any man. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about what I want. It's about God and about what God wants. Praise the Lord. So I want us to begin to orientate our mind towards that. Because that is what the Lord expects. And we're going to give him what he wants. Hallelujah. I want us to sing this song and then we continue again. God is going to be speaking to us and then we will be praying as the Lord speaks to us. I want us to just be one on one with God. Forget about who is next to you. Forget about me standing here. Let's all just flow in the Spirit with the Holy Ghost. And God will do what He has intended to do in our midst today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and Pleasure. 
and I know we most of us in our hearts we will say we know. But when we see the way we conduct our life, do we know? Because we are busy pursuing our own journey, seeking what we want. But what about what he wants? And that's what the Lord is calling us on to today. Because I want us to really deeply understand why we are here. First Corinthians 6, 19. The Bible says, Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Praise God. I know a lot of us have one time or the other said that it is my life. But God is correcting us today. It is not your life. It is the life of God. And he has given it to you so that you can live him out of your life. And I pray that we will understand that in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 6.20 says, For ye are bought with a price. God did not steal our body. God didn't steal us. He did not use up any authority. He paid the price. He paid the price. The Lord has bought us. I mean, you can imagine when you go out to purchase a commodity and after spending so much money, I'm just using that as an example because what God spent is more than money. So you go to purchase something after spending a lot of money, they refuse to release it to you. If that happens to us, a lot of us will fight and we will take it to court because you have already paid and it's been denied you. God feels that we are denying him of what belongs to him, what rightfully belongs to him. Praise the Lord. And God is calling us to a place of repentance because some of us will say, what am I repenting of? This is the primary thing. We have denied the law of the goods that he paid highly for. Praise the Lord. We were bought with a price. First Peter 1.18 The Bible says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last days for you, who by him do believe in God, that raised him all from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. 22. Seeing ye have purified your soul in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfair love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure and fervent heart. Verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Praise the Lord. We are bought with a price. It's not silver, it's not gold. Something that is much more expensive than silver and gold. The blood of God. The blood of God. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. By this word we are born again. The blood of God. 
God shed his own blood. He shed his own blood. And when he was shedding the blood, he had an expectation in his heart. And his expectation is that we would belong to him. And we are robbing him of that. I'm just telling you what the Holy Spirit said to tell you. God said, I feel robbed. I feel robbed of that which belongs to me. And um, maybe some of us, we understand as human beings, when you have children and you expect that those children belong to you, but then suddenly they tell you their life is their own. They say, my life is my own. And then they start to live this in a way that we know will not profit them. It throws us in sorrow, heartache. Or when you have a child and you don't have access to your child, we feel pain. This is the pain that the Lord is having. When he bought us with the blood of his own only begotten son to come to him so that he can fellowship. But then the fellowship becomes impossible, not because he doesn't want to do it, but because he's holy. He's holy. When we are not holy, he can't be there. He, he, he cannot come to where we are, and yet he desires to have us so much. However, he already has paid for us to be where he is. Praise the Lord. Brethren, God is calling. God is calling. And He's preparing our heart as the word is coming out by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because what we are doing today is more than just saying something. The Bible says we should reign our hearts and not our garments. Is the heart. And the heart cannot reign when there is no understanding. So God wants us to understand what he's feeling. What he's feeling. He's feeling that we are denying him of his right because he already has paid the price. There is nothing more that he can do. He already has gone all the way. And the sad thing is that and now we are suffering a lot of things, not because God is incapable, but just because we have not positioned ourselves in that place where we need to be. Where God is constant, fellowshipping with us, and we have dominion by that. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53, verse 6. The Bible says, All we like sheep have gone astray, and we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That's why God is calling, saying, Come back, come back. We've done enough of our own thing. We've gone enough in our own way. God is calling us to come back. To come back. Isaiah 55, verses 6 and 9. And it's good we write all this down because it's going to help us to pray as we, we continue to pray this prayer of God. Uh, Consecration. Isaiah 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways 
higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. The only way that our way can be the same as the Lord's way is when we follow him and we obey him all the time. The only way that our thoughts can be the thoughts of the Lord is when we receive what the word has said above everything that is coming to our thoughts all the time. God wants us to return to that place. God wants us to return to that place. So it's not about us today. It's about the Father. It's about the Son. It's about the Holy Spirit. So the first prayer point we're going to take today is a prayer of repentance. Oh Lord, we're not praying yet. I'm just telling you how we're going to pray. Oh Lord, I have denied of you that which is rightfully yours. Hallelujah. I know a lot of us can sit down and write a long list of what we have accomplished in our lifetime. But yet, if I ask you, what have you accomplished? In that which is written in the volume of your books, some of us will be looking at me as what are you saying? However, God has a thought for you and for me. All things are created for his pleasure, including me and including you. And no matter how you think it's far fetched that God wants to do something through your life. I'm telling you today is the truth. He wants to do something with your life. The only thing that has limited him is because we are busy doing our own thing. And while we are busy doing our own thing, he cannot do his own thing because he's holy. Praise the Lord. God does not share. He prays God. So he's calling us exclusively to himself. He is jealous. He's jealous. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 55. I'm still preparing our hearts for this prayer that we're going to pray. And we need to pray with understanding and really meaning it. And you see, let, let me help you also. If you have not really fully understand the depth of what the Holy Spirit is saying, you can start your own prayer by saying, okay, you know what? I really desire this consecration thing that everyone is talking about, but I, I don't understand yet. Teach it to me. Teach it to me. And the Lord will. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you haven't really understood the depth, because if you understand the depth of what I'm saying right now, you should already feel like crying. Yes. Because any time I think about when the Lord said to me that when you are doing your own thing, you are denying me. You are denying me of what I want to do in your life. And I've not been able to do it. With me understanding that, it brought me to tears. Praise the Lord. Because I start to relate to God, even with myself and my children. You know how children are when, even when you are telling them what we hurt them, we hurt them, they don't see, they don't see what you are seeing. And it's the same with God. It's the same with God. He's telling us, he's telling us, but we don't see what he's seeing. And then when we begin to deny God, it brings pain into his heart. Just like we have pain, we have pain. So, so when we begin to do our prayer, let us rain our heart before the Lord and let God know his soul. Because, like I said, even though when it comes to consecration, 
he has to start with us. But the completion of consecration is still God. It's God that is going to complete it. And the completion is going to come based on what we bring to him. Praise the Lord. So when we come to him and he sees the genuineness, and he sees that it's the heart that is red, and he sees that we really have understanding and we are ready, he then steps in. And he begins to do what we ordinarily wouldn't have been able to do by ourselves. Praise the Lord. And we can see this in the example of Isaiah. The day, in the, in the time that King Uzziah died, when Isaiah saw the Lord, he suddenly discovered is how foul his mouth is. And I was surprised because this is a prophet. I mean, this is a prophet. He was a man of God and he was using his mouth to speak the counsel of God. But suddenly, in the presence of the holiness of God, he discovered how foul his mouth is. But you know what? It was, still, it was God that took care of that, right? Yeah. Because he brought call out of the, of the presence of the Lord and they put it in his mouth. And then also when we look at the story of Joshua uh, the high priest, when also he was in the presence of the Lord, the Bible says, I mean, they, I don't know how a high priest can be clothed in a <laughs> in filthy garment, but he was. He was. He was. And he also took God to do something supernatural to remove that garment. And you remember the Bible also said that when he was before the Lord in the filthy garment, Satan was here in his right hand resisting him. Resisting him. Not because God was not able, but by the reason of his present condition at that time. Okay? And some of us have found ourselves in a place in life where Satan is at our right hand resisting us. And it's not because the word of God is not true. Neither is it because God is not powerful. It's because of something. Maybe we know about it, maybe we don't. But you see, when we come in a prayer of consecration, God will deal with that. God will deal with that. What we don't realize is that prayer of consecration is a whole lot tied to spiritual warfare. See? Bible says, submit yourself to God. Then what was the next thing? Resist the devil and will fail. Because dominion comes in the place of consecration. Dominion comes. Dominion comes. And things that had been difficult before will be done. Praise the Lord. Joshua the high priest. By the reason of his visitation to the throne room, the resistance of his right hand was removed for him. <coughs> The filthy garments were taken off of him. Not only was it a clean one, he also had something that was put on his head. And he had the permission to walk among the coals of fire. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, God give me understanding. God give you understanding. In the name of Jesus. But by the reason of the fact that we are here today, we will be helped in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's read Isaiah 55 from verse 1 when we saw start praying. The Bible says, Ho, everyone that passeth, come ye to the waters, that he and he that has no money, come ye, buy, eat, yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfies not? You see, when we are doing our own thing, 
We are spending money for that which is not bread. We are spending our labor for that which satisfies not. Hacking diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ears and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness for the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Dominion, right? Dominion, dominion. And behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and the nation that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return unto the Lord that he will have mercy upon him and to our God. That he will abundantly pardon. Praise the Lord. And then sometimes when we see that word wickedness, you will think, well, I'm not wicked. I have not killed a man. I have not stolen. I have not. Wickedness is where we keep from God that which rightfully belongs to him. Wickedness is when we go about doing our own thing while God is calling us and he needs us. He's calling me to, but yet you are busy, busy doing your own thing, ignoring him, rebellion. is wickedness to God. And you see that even uh, Isaiah immediately, God did what he did. God said, who will go for us? Who will go for us? And he said, here I am. And in my mind, I'm like, but you were prophesying before. <laughs> so was he just prophesying when it was convenient for him? You know, I've been doing his own thing and just bringing his own prophecies or, or what? But yet he was ready. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hosea 6. Verse 1. Come and let us return unto the Lord. For he has done and he will heal us. He has smitten and he will burn us up. After two days, will he revive us? And in the third days, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Let's start to pray. Let's start to pray. God is still going to speak to us, but let, let, let's start the prayer right now. Hallelujah. And this is the prayer that um, you do for yourself. I know the last time we met together, we were able to pray for those who were not here. But this time around, this is between you and God. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity that you have given us to come before you. You called us to come up here just because you love us so much. Because you see us, you see our suffering, you see how we are hitting our head against walls, and yet you have made all this provision for us. You see how the enemy is continually saying, where is their God? And yet, it's not because you have lost your power, it's not because your hand is too short that you cannot see. And because of this, you send out your word to us, calling us, calling us, calling us, calling us, calling us. And we have heard your voice. That's why we are here. We are here, Lord, for you. 
We are here, O oh Lord, to say yes to your call. We are here, O oh Lord, desiring what you desire. In the name of Jesus, we come. We are sorry for all the way we have been withheld ourselves from you. Where we have been busy with life where we have been busy with our own ambition, where we have been busy with our own desires, where we have been busy just to make things work out for us in the things that we think is right that we should have, and the path that we think is right that we should follow. However, you have a purpose for us. You have a plan for us. You have that which you have written in the bottom of our book, where you formed us in our mother's womb. The Bible says you thought of us, and you wrote a book, that which you have proposed for us to accomplish upon the earth. But we are walking around doing our own thing, and yet you are waiting on us. Father, we return to you today. We return to you not with our mouth. We return to you with our heart. And we say we are sorry, Lord. We are sorry. We are sorry. Because we belong to you. You are, we are your property. We are your property. And you do with us that which you desire. But yet, we have lived in rebellion. Doing our own thing. Busy making our own decisions based on what we want or what we feel like doing. Oh Lord God, we come to you. We come to you. We come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we come and we repent. We repent. We repent of seeking our own ways. We repent of seeking our own ways. We repent of pursuing that which we desire. We repent. We repent of focusing on the things on the earth. We repent. We repent. Oh Lord God. Oh Lord God, we call upon you that you will help every heart. Every heart that is present here. We are willing, Lord. We are willing. We are willing. The heart that is yet to understand what you are talking about. Father, teach it to us by the Holy Spirit. Teach it to us. Reveal your heart. Reveal your mind. Open our eyes. Open our eyes until the eye of Isaiah was open. He did not even know that he was a man of all things. He did not know. He did not know that he, did, he has not answered the call until he saw you. Until he saw you. Open our eyes, O Lord. Open our eyes, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And even as we have desired to be separate to you, we have desired to be exclusive to you, we have desired your holiness, because that is what you call us unto. We are asking you, O oh Lord, that you will sanctify us also. You will sanctify us. You will set us apart in the name of Jesus. Yes, you will do that work. You will do that work. You will shine your light. You will shine your light, Lord. You will shine your light in the name of the Lord Jesus. That you will walk in every heart, O oh Lord. That you will walk in every heart unto transformation. Unto transformation. That you will move us. You will move us, O oh Lord. You will move us as we obey. You will take away even rebellion from us. You will take away disobedience in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will teach us yourself. You will teach us yourself to know your heart. To know your ways. Not our way, not our thoughts, not our own imagination, but that which is in your heart, that which you desire, and that which you want of us, O oh Lord, day by day, O oh Lord, second by second, minute by minute, O oh Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. For which you, O oh Lord, there is no impossibility, for there is nothing you cannot do. Bible says with men, this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. So we call upon you, O oh God, of all possibility. 
no matter how how far we are from where we are supposed to be, no matter how we are derailed, oh Lord, no matter where we have found ourselves, you bring us back. You bring us back. You restore, oh Lord. You restore, oh Lord. You restore, oh Lord. You restore, oh Lord. Because you can do all things. Because you can do all things. That is why we come, oh Lord, saying we are sorry. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry of every way we have denied you of ourselves. We have denied you of our person. We have denied you, Lord. Yes, we say yes with our mouth. But yet we are not there. We are not there. We say yes with our mouth. But we are not there, Lord. We repent, oh Lord. We are sorry. We belong to you. We belong to you because you created us for your pleasure. Oh, in any way where you have not derived pleasure, even though that is what we, you created us for, we are saying sorry for it. In any decision that we have made that have robbed you of this pleasure in our life, we say we are sorry. Every step that we have taken to that have robbed you, that have robbed you of enjoying the fullness of this pleasure in us and through us, we say we are sorry, you know. We humble ourselves before you. We humble ourselves before you. We humble ourselves. We call upon you, Holy Spirit. We call upon you. We call upon you. We call upon you, o Lord. We call upon you, o Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you said in your word, you said, draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. Draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. You said you will pour water upon thirsty ground. You will pour water upon thirsty ground. We come thirsty, O Lord. We come seeking you, O Lord. We come pressing into you, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we present ourselves, O Lord. We present ourselves. We say yes. We say yes. We are willing, Lord. We are willing, and so shall we obey, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we call out for your help. We call out for your help, O Lord. We call out for your help. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we call upon you, O Lord. We call upon you, O Lord, by the working of your Spirit, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. O oh, Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to believe we are all praying. Praise the Lord. Okay. Exodus chapter 5 to Exodus 10. I'm not reading it. I'm just going to um, tell you the summary of what God wants to say to us. Um, the Bible says that God sent Moses to go to Pharaoh and to say, let my people go. But if you go through uh, the book of Exodus from chapter 5 to 10, any time that Moses went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go, he also tells Pharaoh why God wants the people to go. Praise the Lord. God never said, let my people go so that they can go and eat manna in the wilderness. God did not say, let my people go so that they can be free. He didn't even say that. He didn't say, let them go so that they can go and become a powerful nation. He didn't say that. Wow. He said, let my people go that they may serve me. Let my people go that they may worship me. Let my people go that they will hold a feast unto me. Let my people go. And even though all the other things happened, but those came secondly when they went doing what the Lord desired for them to do. Let my people go. Let's, God is using this scripture again to explain to us the true meaning of consecration. God is not calling us to come and be a winner, to come and be the great one, to come and, yes, we will win. Yes, we will be great. But the primary thing that God is calling me and you for 
is to worship him, is to serve him, is to sacrifice to him, is to hold a feast unto him. That is what God is calling us. And when we look at the life of the children of Israel, when they were in the wilderness, you will see that they did not get it. They didn't get it. Just as like most of us now, we don't get it. We don't get it. A lot of people, we feel we are born again, you know, because you want everything to go well in your life. You know, you want to have money, to be bright, not to have any form of sicknesses, not to lose anything, just to be gaining everything. Not to, you know, we, 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 that's why we are, we, are, we are with God, because of what we want. But God wants us to change our perspective. Because if we do not change our perspective, we will always lose out of what we are even wanting. And we will see that in the life of the children of Israel. Okay? So they left Egypt thinking, oh, finally we are free. <laughs> okay? So they went to the wilderness, they started asking for garlic, you know, asking for all this seasoning. Because, I mean, that's the best that God can do. Because when they were slaves, slaves, they had garlic. They had, and that's why some people will say, even when I was a non-believer, things are better. Because we start thinking like that. Because we do not understand our salvation and we do not understand why God called us to himself. So they were, they were busy in the wilderness asking for all these things and living in rebellion. And because they lived in rebellion, they were robbed of what God intended for them. I want you to listen very well. Listen to the depth of what the Spirit of God is telling us right now. They were robbed. A lot of us are being robbed right now because we have not gotten our perspective right. We are being robbed. And it's not that God cannot do it. Okay, so this group of people that came out of Egypt, they did not get to the promised land. But, they, but God called them out to take them to the promised land. But they didn't get there. Because they did not honor the reason why God called them out. Praise the Lord. God wants us to understand and start to honor the reason why he called us. It's not about you. It's not about you having money. It's not about you having all this, I'm a king's kid and this. I'm not saying we will not have money. Understand very well. In fact, God wants us to have money. That's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. So if the children of Israel have participated totally and fully in what God called them out to do, it would have been well with them. They would have gotten to the promised land. They would have enjoyed their stay in the wilderness and they would have possessed the land and still enjoy it. But they were robbed. God wants us to stop being robbed. Because I would really want you to understand what this call is for. It's not, it's not to make things tighter for us. It's not to make things more difficult. It's not, it's not that God is laying more demand. It's to set us free. It's to make us live the life that we should be living. Praise the Lord. So God called us out to himself to serve him, to sacrifice, to hold a feast unto him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the hand of the Lord is not too short that he cannot see. And it's not that he cannot do what he has promised to do. It's just because we have not taken the position that is expected for us to take. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And we are coming here to him today saying, we are taking that position. Amen. We are taking that position. Amen. Hallelujah.
So, God is saying this. I'm just going to read out the way I wrote it. God is saying to you and saying to me, make it possible for me to enjoy what I created you for. Amen. Make it possible for me, that is God, to enjoy what I created you for. God is demanding of me and demanding of you. You know, because the reason why God is not enjoying what he created us for is because we made it impossible for him. Because our will must be involved. Our will, we, we, we have to participate. We have to participate. And if you look at the life of the children of Israel also, you will see that the few people that cooperated with God, they, they, they received the promise of God. Praise the Lord. It was only Joshua and Caleb, but that proved that it was not God that failed. Amen. It was not God that failed because Joshua and Caleb received the fullness of what God said he was going to do. It is possible for us to receive the fullness of what the Bible says God has made ours. Praise the Lord. But God is saying, make it possible for me to enjoy what I created you for. Then we can enjoy all the goodness that is in God that is, he already has given to us. So I, God said, I created you for companionship. But because I am holy, you deny me of this companionship. Okay, because God is holy and you cannot say, come and stay with me when, when you are not exclusive. Okay, so the exclusivity that God is asking of you and of me is so that he can have an opportunity to rest. Praise God. And that's why you see that at a point in time, God decided not to follow the children of Israel anymore. Because his presence will be detrimental to them. Because they, they refuse to, to present that exclusivity to God so that he can rest in their midst. Praise the Lord. So God is saying, you deny me of this companionship. And he said, when you sanctify yourself, and when you are holy as I am holy, then you make it possible for me to enjoy what I made you for. And as I enjoy what I made you for, then also you will enjoy the fullness of all the goodness that is hidden in me. Praise the Lord. As, as, as we do what God is telling for us to do right now, it's like we want to open the gates of heaven for ourselves. Brethren. That's what we are doing. We want to open the gates of heaven for ourselves. So God is not robbing us of anything. He's just helping us out. Praise the Lord. The Revelation 4, 11 says, Thou art worthy, Lord, to receive glory, honor, power. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. They are and were created. God wants us to return to him. to come to him in the place, place of worship, to set our priority right, to set our priority right. And all these things that God is discussing with us, they are very deep. And it takes us willing, willing, but it's still, we still need the help of God. We still need the help of God, you know. Because like I said, when we look at the life of Isaiah, when he saw the Lord, as much as he repented, confessed, 
God still has to come to help. And Joshua also. And God is going to come to help us tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray again. We're still praying concerning this one thing. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Let's sing this song. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. I live for you alone. Every breath I write, every moment I'm away.
Father, we come. Holy Spirit, we come. Jesus, we come. Jesus, we come. Yes, we are sorry. We are sorry of how we have denied you of that which rightfully belongs to you. We are sorry because we have not understood why you called us. We have not understood why you laid your hand upon us. We have been focused on so many things. We have had our hearts combat with a lot of things, combat with a lot of desire. We have seen ourselves going elder skelter. We come to you. We return to you. We bow before you. We bow before you. For you called us out of the world to yourself to worship you, to serve you, to consecrate ourselves holy to you, holy to your service, holy to your purpose. We come and we say yes, Lord. We come and we say yes, Lord. Even though we do not even understand the depth of what we are saying yes to, but we know you are the one that works in us, both to win in us and to do of your own good pleasure. And we know that with you all things are possible. For you are able to walk this walk in us, for because the Bible says that faithful is he who has called us, who we also do it. So we come, O Lord. We present ourselves, O Lord, willingly, 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 willingly. We return to you, Lord. We return to you, Lord. Le probali agosi ke le mundo do bosi ba vida sa. She te le mala mo pro bosi ke do ni ala ma sa to ni ke she te le mazaya. I le bosi te anga se ke le mundo ni ala mo sa ya la ma. The Sabi said, "You have said for me to seek your face, and I have said and answered, O Lord, your face will I see. So we come seeking your face, O Lord, seeking your face." Saying yes to you, coming up hither as you have called us unto yourself, that we will be in your holiness, that we will live in your holiness. We want to be holy as you are holy, Lord. Exclusive, exclusive, oh Lord. But we say, seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That is what we come for, your kingdom. Your kingdom and your righteousness. That which you say is right. Whatever you say is right, is right to us. Whatever you say is right, is right to us. We begin to think the way you think. We come in agreement and in totality, 100% with your word, what you have said. That we will stand by your word. We die for your word. Unmovable, Lord. Unmovable, we stand, O Lord. Even as our Lord Jesus Christ stood for the word, died. Died because the word says do. He yielded himself. The Bible says he had the power to lay down his life and to pick it up again. Nobody took it from him, but he did it willingly. He obedient to the Father. This is what you have called us to, O oh Lord, to obey you, to walk with you, to give allowance for you to manifest yourself in our life. We give you that allowance today. We call upon you. We call upon you, O oh Lord, that you will come and take your place. Come and take your place. Come and take your place. We are sorry that we have denied you. We are sorry that we have denied you of the position that you should be in our life, of the place that you should take in our life. But we call upon you, O Lord. We call upon you. Come and set things right. Come and set things right. Yes, a lot of things have gone wrong that we cannot even begin to think of how to put the pieces together. But you are able, Lord. You are able, Lord. You are able. You are the restorer, Lord. You are the restorer. You said I will restore. Oh, Lord God. Renew a right spirit within us, O Lord. That we begin to think right. That we begin to think right. So that we can set our priority right, O Lord. That we begin to know that which is uppermost in your heart. That which is the desire of your heart, O Lord. That our attention shall not be fixed upon you. The Bible says we should set our affection on things that are our God, where Christ is seated at the right hand of the Father. Make this possible for us, O Lord. Make this possible. Make this possible. O Lord, 
gloire in the name of Jesus. Meso koko nye no shete le magazia na koste. Lile le maramoso koko nye le sete ya la gase. Ke le moto ya la popa ni agazaya. Anything, oh Lord, that is in us, whether we know about it or we do not know about it, that stand to hinder us, Father, deal with it right now, tonight, tonight, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says you took a call from all the fire of the throne and you put it in the mouth of, of, of Isaiah and that took care of his mouth that was devoured. He didn't even know his mouth was devoured until he came to your presence. Anything, oh Lord, anything that is in us, that we hinder you from resting, that hinders you from resting, that hinder that communion, that hinders that true fellowship, that hinders that true togetherness that you have in mind when you call us. Oh Lord, we give you permission to take it away. We give you the permission to take it away. We give you the permission to take it away. Set us free, Lord. Set us free, set us as liberty to go, that we'll be able to worship you in spirit and in truth, that we'll be able to commune with you in the beauty of your holiness, that we'll share your holiness and your exclusivity, that we'll be able to rise, O Lord, even as you said in your word, you said when we obey your commandment, you will move in, you will move in, you will abide, you will rest, you will make our, our temple, your home, that is our desire because when you are at home, that is when everything will be at peace with us. That is why everything, everything will align for us. That is how we will enjoy every goodness that you have hidden in yourself that you have for us to partake while we are still in this flesh of ours. Oh Lord God Almighty, deliver us. Deliver us from ourselves, oh Lord. We are willing. We want to be holy. We want to be separated to you and to you alone. We want to belong to you and you alone. We want to worship you. Yes, we want to hold our feast unto you as you have called us. We want to serve you even as you have called us the way you want us to do it. Not the way that we have thought we want to do it. Not according to our own ambition. Not according to the things that we are building for ourselves. We are not about to build any kingdom for ourselves. But to build your kingdom, O Lord. We submit ourselves. We submit. We call upon you, O Lord. We call upon you, Holy Spirit. That we do this work of consecration, you will complete it, O God. Anything that constituted like a filthy garment before it upon us in our life, in anything that pertains to us, that is repelling your presence, that is repelling your appearance, that is making you to distance yourself, even as you distance yourself yourself from the children of Israel in the wilderness. It wasn't your will it's not to be with them. You wanted to live in them, move with them. As you are proposed with us that you will live in us, you will move in us. That is your purpose. But anything that is making you to stand and do, that is repelling you, that is making you to, to want to be afar from us, we give you permission to take it away. We give you permission to take it away because you can do all things. You will do it by your hand of circumcision. You will do it, O Lord, by your mighty hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus, bring us again back to the place of dominion. 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 That every resistance, anything that is resisting us in our right hand might be removed, might be gone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that we begin to live our life enjoying everything that you have recorded in your word because we know that forever your word is set to be heaven. Everything that you have spoken, everything that is written, everything that you have said that we have access to. Yes, we have access to it. And we continue to manifest in our life while we are still here upon the earth in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God Almighty. We do not want to walk around in the circle anymore. We do not want to walk around. We are tired. We are tired of walking around in the circle, circling this mountain. No, no, no. No, no, no. We, we, we are tired of it. We repent. We repent. We repent. Because we know you are faithful. You are faithful, Lord. You keep your promises. We see it manifest in the life of Joshua and Caleb. We do not want to be, oh 
Lord, like those that perish in the wilderness. We do not want to be like those that live their lifetime upon the earth and did not fulfill that which is written in the volume of their book. We do not want to die in the wilderness, O oh Lord, walking around in the circle, just walking around in the circle until the end of our lifetime upon the earth, and here upon the earth. We do not want that, O oh Lord. Let there be a change tonight. A change tonight. A change tonight. Because you said I will do a new thing. 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 It shall spring forth. Shall you not see? May say, Kemi Alagora Bazaya. We call upon your visitation. We call upon your visitation. We yield to you. We yield to you. We yield to you because we know it's not by power, it's not by my, but by my spirit, dear the Lord. We call upon you. The Bible says, when we call upon you, you will come and say, you will come and deliver. Yes, when we are thirsty, you will pour your water. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we call upon you. The Bible says, draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. So we come tonight, drawing nigh unto you, O oh Lord, obeying you, you bidding us to come. So we come, O oh Lord, to receive tonight, to receive tonight, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord God Almighty, if there is any one of us that really have not understood what you are passing across to us tonight, O oh Lord, open our eyes, open the eyes of our understanding, open the eyes of our understanding, in the name of Jesus, seeing we shall see, seeing we shall see, hearing we shall comprehend, in the name of the Lord Jesus, anything that is stopping our comprehension, anything that is hindering us from understanding, I command it to be removed right now, I command it to be removed right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Bible says light shines, darkness comprehending not, let this light shine in our heart to give us words understanding, to give us wisdom, to give us revelation in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Philippians 2, 13. The Bible says, For it is God which walketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Hallelujah. I know there is a willingness in, in our hearts tonight. And as there is a willingness, God will grant unto us the ability to do. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to read uh, Matthew, Matthew 21. Matthew 21, God, uh, Jesus Christ was given a parable here uh, from verse 28. The Bible says, But what think ye? He's asking you, What do you think? So listen to the story. A certain man had two sons, and he came to the first and said, Son, go walk today in my vineyard. And he, and he answered, that is his son, and said, I will not. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he wasn't even pretending. He said, I'm not going to do it. But the Bible says, after war, he repented and went. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter what has been before now. Praise the Lord. Yes, even if we have denied the Lord, even if we had said no, either knowingly or knowingly, today we have made up our mind. Praise the Lord. Now look at the 30. He came to the second and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir. Hmm. The 
The Bible says, but he went not. He went not. He went not. So it's not what we say that matters. It's what we do. And it's not the past that matters. It's the present. If we had been rebellious before, it's not, we are not so anymore. Hallelujah. If we've been busy doing our own thing before, it's not so anymore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, Jesus Christ said, Wither of them twain did the will of the Father. And they said unto him, The first. And then Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. <laughs> but that is not our own portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. He was saying that because of the Pharisees and the Sadducees that were stuck in their ways. They were stuck in their ways and they would not receive what Jesus was giving them. We are not like that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's, let's move on. The next prayer point we're going to take to right now, we're going to take it from this teaching by the Holy Spirit. Genesis chapter 32. And I'm going to read from verse 24. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the break of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaking. That is, the person that was wrestling with Jacob, he said, look, the day is breaking already. I need to go. And Jacob said, I will not let thee go, except you bless me. Praise the Lord. You will use your own mouth to tell the Lord. Okay, Lord, I, I, I came tonight. I've repented. I prayed that you. Okay, before I leave your presence tonight, I need a blessing. I need a blessing. Praise the Lord. And he said unto him, What is thy name? <laughs> you know, how would Jacob have ever known that his name is a major thing in his life that is blocking his blessing? How? Except by God himself. Praise the Lord. Because that's all he's known all his life. That is the name that they gave him when they gave birth to him. And that's the name he's been bearing all his life. But he could not be blessed with that name. Hallelujah. So, what we are expecting that God is going to do for us as we pray this prayer right now, is that anything that is standing against the fullness of our blessing, whether we know about it or we have no clue, God must change it. Hallelujah. Because He can. Praise God. Only God can change the name of a man overnight like that. Praise the Lord. And Jacob didn't even know the extent of the deliverance he got that night. He did not know <laughs> until he started to live his life from that moment. Then he, he, he realized the, something major that started on that day. That day was a day of memorial to him. Praise the Lord. Because up till now, 
the children of Israel. They are not even called the children of Abraham. <laughs> right? They are children of Israel because it's, it's now started from Jacob. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because most of us, we forget that Israel is somebody's name. Because we have so much associated that name to a nation. However, it was the name that God gave Jacob. What honor can be greater than that? Hallelujah. God will honor us tonight. God will honor us tonight. In the name of Jesus. So he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Anything that has been resisting us will be no more. Amen. I want you to fasten your mind to that as we make this prayer tonight. Praise the Lord. He said, that name shall be, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a priest has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. Jacob was lifted to a place of dominion. Dominion. Praise the Lord. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. Praise God. Amen. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face, and my life is free. How did he know he saw God? After all, the person didn't tell him his name. When you have an encounter, you will know that you have an encounter. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in verse 31, as he passed over Penua, the sun rose upon him. The sun is going to rise upon us. Amen. The sun is going to rise upon us. As we leave this place tonight, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we are entering into a new dimension. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read this scripture too before we pray. Hebrews 12. Proverbs 18. For ye are not come unto the mountain that might be touched, and are born with fire, nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that had entreated that the word should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. Hallelujah. And to be blessed, we don't have to deal with that. We don't have to deal with that mountain that can be touched. We smoke, we fire, with, with all those terror. But even at that time, they didn't have a choice but to endure that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So aren't we so blessed? Here we are, sitting comfortably <laughs> on pushing chair. Pray the prayer of consecration. <laughs> we are blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
But ye are come unto Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. That's where we are right now. Hallelujah. To an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, to God the judge of all, to the spirit of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of evil. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh. Hallelujah. We already have passed that one. Because he spoke, that's why we are here. We are not refusing. Praise the Lord. For if they escape not, who refuse him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Whose voice then shook the earth? But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word yet once more signified, underline this, signified the removing of those things that are shaking as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are giving God the permission, shake them away. Shake them away. Because you must bless me today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If that thing is so much wrapped around me like my name, what, what else can be wrapped around somebody more than a name? Right? If God can take that away, he can take any other thing away. Praise the Lord. No matter how tightly this thing is, take it away. Shake it away. Shake it away. Hallelujah. Wherefore, we, receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Hallelujah. That's what we are for, Lord. Shake away the man-made thing. Shake away the things that make you to stand afar off from me. Shake it. Take it away. Take it. Anything that has twisted itself around, no matter how tight it, it is, take it away. Because I must be blessed. I must be blessed. I must be blessed. And when we are talking about blessings, we are looking beyond money. <laughs> we already saw how God blessed Jacob beyond, beyond he, he, he became his will. Every, every, every other thing, he just, he was the source. He, he became the source of the promise of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherefore we receive in the kingdom that cannot be moved. Let us have grace. We are back. We may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. We are leaving this place tonight beginning to serve God acceptably. Amen. God will not have any reason to call me and say you are denying you are denying me of yourself. Not anymore from today. Not anymore. Not anymore. Verse 29 says for our God is a consuming fire. Let us pray. Oh, Shana Baba, who said he was a Messiah? Kere Moshi, Tere Mogo Soko, Yakasia, and yet to Boshi, Tere Bagazia. Hana Baba, and yet to the Moshi, Tere Bagazia. All of us shake the Mogo Soko, and say, Yana Mogo Shiki Bazaar. Hala Bazi, Mogo Yana, Shiki Madama. Kurobo se ke mundo ya la masanda kabiere de mu ora baza kandele de le morobo se shitaba magazere mundo ya la masia 
Nego da pode nos ouvir, caminho para valerizar que ele pensa que ele não vai mexer com o magazu com ele na massa caliente, com ele na mara moço e na mara onda e blessos, 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 blessos. Que ele mexer com ele na massa caliente, blessed God. Oh la gosh, from whom all blessings flow. Balian Moshe ke le mundo li anaman sakayana. Very good and perfect is come from above the Father of Light. In whom there is no variableness or shadow that is deep to change. We lay hold upon you, Lord. We lay hold upon you. Kalamase ke le manamasura balza. Ke mi ele mo robo sando ya ni wili ni ze blessing. Release a blessing, release a blessing. Come here. Kere bala moso kumiyama. For everyone that is present, everyone present calling upon you, Lord, lida moso kumiyama ni bala masanda. We are not letting you go. Kashika la magaze kere bala masuya. Kere bala moso kumiyama ni bala masanda. Kere bala moso kumiyama ni bala masanda. Yes, yes, that blessing, that blessing, that a blessing, that a blessing, way beyond what we can ask or think, O Lord, way beyond our own imagination, way beyond, way beyond our human mind, our human conception, way beyond that which runs. From generation to generation to generation, that O Lord, that which you have in mind for us, that which is written, that which is written, kasando elemo rabakasila, ke elemo shet elemo gosoria, bless, bless us, bless us, bless us, bless us. Yes, that thing that is making the devil to fight us so much, because he has seen it. Because he saw the star. That which has made enemies to arise against our soul. Release it, release it, release it, release it. Release it. Establish it forever. As you did to Jacob. You said, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more shall you be called Jacob. Palika sata yalaba. Kele borobo soko nobo shete le mazanda. Kele yalabo sope yanda. No more, no more impediments, no. No more impediments, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Kele siya, kuro boso probo le mazango yalama shete le magazia. Kele bo shete le mongo suri alamanda. Kasari le mongo uya. O Lord, our sanctifier. Kase bo bo shete le, our purifier. Kasala ba miyendo bo bo shia. Our holiness. Kele le mongo bo shete le alamo bo sote le alamanda. We give you permission. We give you permission. We give you permission. Shake away. Shake away. Shake away. Shake away, Lord. Leave Roboso to go to go to the other one. Tear it out. Tear it out. Go to the other one. Super Valiangaza. No matter how much this is entrenched in us, no matter how much this thing has become part of us, keep the story of us and go to the other one. Go to the other one. Kike kuso, libro poso kori ala mundo yele ye, shike le mala mashanda yara. Kuro poso kori ele mundo yele ye, ma kasanda. Ila na soko yele mundo yele mo rabasa kando ya. Because we are proposed to seek your kingdom, to seek your kingdom and your kingdom alone. Libre mo, ito ni, gasi ala mo, suko mo, yego sika. Libre mo, robo shete le magazari ala manda yele. Gesia, oh God of all possibility, keliato, rodile le basia. Because with you, oh Lord, nothing shall be impossible. Kasia. Lembo boso kori alama, kare bos kori ele mundo di alagasia. Whatever it takes, you have to change and change. 
se eu desviasse, 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 se eu Let your mighty hand be moving. We are not going to go sick and amassander. Yes, your blessing come upon us tonight. Your blessing, your blessing, your blessing, your blessing, your blessing. Kaliendo rogo shetelima. That which you have spoken concerning us, when you put us in a mother's womb, that which you thought in your heart, gele mala masia establish it now. Establish it now, establish it now, establish it now, establish it now. As you establish this in the life of Jacob, Lord. Labor was here. You know, the Bible says, before the children were ever born, you already said, Jacob, my Lord. Because you have sent him for that purpose. You have sent him for that purpose. And he eluded him for several, 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 several years, several years, several years. Holy man, I'm a sacrament. But you came, Maliko Robo Soko, Yele Manamasha, Kobi Alamo Robo Sia. Yele Manamasi, Kele Mundo, you make all things well. And you make all things right. That is what we are calling you for tonight. Calling you for to plan to Lord. Make a sukoya la ma like sete libro boste. Mali kasakuri a la moro boshe tete miagazaya. And it's not about us, it's about you. It's about your purpose. It's about your purpose. It's about your calling. It's about your will. It's about that which you have written. Oh Lord. Declare it on Lord tonight. Establish it on Lord forever. Me laboso compre que se te vea la manda li. Ele bochete ni mando ya. Ki propo so propo ni eco sica. Ipla mondo ne bosso propo ni anda zaya. Ira si que te le bosso propo ni anda. Ire le bosso propo ni anda. Ira la mondo ni ele bosso propo ni anda zaka ye. Ena ye bo ni ele bolo bochete. Manila sango ni ala propo ni que se te do ni ele propo ni anda. Ya con sacude, ni me le moro bochita ya la ma, una bose que no ya, mi la casé que, el le boche se le manzanda, ki le bocha, le trabalé el bocho con el le me le bo, la bocho de el le se que, ni probo bo bo bochita la vacía, ni probo bo bo ni el bochique, ni probo se, ni mana moro bochique de moto ni el mora bachita ya la ma, ni probo bo bo bochique de moro bocho con ya la ma, a probo Let the Lord have his way in 
you have done exceedingly abundant vie. Above that which we can think or imagine in our heart. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, O Lord, merciful Father. O Lord God, full of blessing. For every good and perfect gift comes from above, the Father of lights, in whom there is no variableness or shadow that is due to change. Thank you for the blessing that you have released upon your people. Thank you, O oh Lord, for the blessing that you have been into our life. Thank you, O oh Lord, for that which you have removed. Thank you for that which you have taken away. Thank you for that which you have added. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent. Amen. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent, permanent. It shall be permanent. Amen. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me. It shall be permanent. Our Father and our God, hallowed be thy name. Great God that you are, full of mercy and loving kindness, always doing good. We worship you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for that which you have done tonight. If all our ears, ears were to be told, they are not sufficient to tell of your goodness and of your loving kindness over us. Of how you have visited us in spite of ourselves. Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you have loved us with an everlasting love. Thank you because as your name is Yahweh. So will you go to any length to deliver your children? We worship you. We worship you. Thank you because you are our sufficiency. The many present God who is more than enough. The I am that I am that says I will be anything that you want me to be for you. We honor you, Lord. We extol you, Lord. We give you glory in Jesus' name.